fiends roam this place. Rare Ignalus variant identified. Commencing guidance protocol. As their size puts them at the lower end of the food chain, they're exceptionally skittish creatures. In addition, they can actively regulate their body temperature, thus allowing them to emit heat as a defense against predators. There are theories that these fiery displays may also be employed in mating rituals. After all, nature is said to be a survival of the fittest. May we too pursue our objective with a passion that burns as bright as the ignalist scales. I know Bring it. <laughs> I got your note.
legend also tells of the gifts Phoenix bestowed on the kind angler. As thanks for his fire, the great bird brought forth myriad fish into the world. So when next you partake of the region's seafood, remember to praise Phoenix. Cloud, you've completed our survey of the Junon region, I see. I've learned so much about the Republic of Junon, thanks in no small part to your efforts in these storied lands. Such insight into our past will invariably help us understand the course Shinra may take in the future. I cannot thank you enough for partnering with me.
Keep it together. I'll show you what I can do. What the? Go on. Whatever. Uh, you stop it. Are my trials not challenging enough? I can't help but wonder where we'll meet next. So many fascinating possibilities. One moment. Welcome to Under Junon, our sunless oasis. My name is Rhonda. I'm the mayor and sheriff around these parts. Asking. A woman who could turn you in and be a hundred grand richer for it. <laughs> well, you know what they say can't take it with you. Hmm. 
Hmm. And Aerith to boot, huh? That's another half a million on top. Uh, half a million? <laughs> Down here, though. We know when to turn a blind eye. Consider our lips sealed. <laughs> Sorry, but I call bullshit. Well, I don't think you would, if you knew even half of what my town's been through. You don't like it? Leave. But, over there, there's a quiet little inn, where everyone's welcome. Any guys in black robes pass through? Not that I saw. Did see some black suits, though. Two guys and a girl. Looked pretty tough. Well, well. They made a beeline right for the elevator. Now we're talking. No, don't even think about it. In case it isn't obvious, upstairs is Shinra turf. And the same goes for the elevator as well. Don't ask me what, but the company's got something big planned up there. And security is tight. You start anything? Anything at all? And there will be consequences. Behave yourselves now. black robes around here somewhere so how are we gonna find them that would depend on where they are headed if they mean to continue west there are only two ways off this continent by sea or by air right might want to ask around town then locals will know routes not on the map may have even seen stragglers pass through or got boats for rent or something how about we meet at the inn when we're done sounds good and remember low profile your way out here, huh? Mind if I get a shot of you? I've got the perfect backdrop. Under Junon's a fascinating little town. Their water is especially so. I mean the color. This beauty comes at a dangerously high price, though. It's worth documenting before it's gone. Anyway, if you know any other camera-worthy subjects, Brittle houses in the sea air. Paint chipping and... Wood bending. Time moving on. And the light here. The way it bounces off the ocean below and the metal above.
brittle houses in the sea air. Hey there! Thank you for tracking down that spot. Quite the view you captured. Good going. Association was impressed too. Bumped you up a rank. Your technique isn't exactly where it needs to be, but you've got promise, that's for sure. If you can develop your talents more, I guarantee you'll go places. Brittle houses in the sea air. Have you met Priscilla yet? You'll know her when you see her. Many She's years ago, this stretch of ocean was you home to the Republic of Junon's capital, boat. a floating city built atop a fleet of interconnected Priscilla ships. And managed to teach her dolphins some tricks. She's the voice of our great mother. Here how she Wait, you wanna buy something? Here? Okay. village this is ain't even allowed to take a rowboat out shinra's saying it's only a temporary prohibition but people gotta eat anyway short of stealing a boat and causing a scene both us and our black robe friends are sol Look at that. I finally hooked a catch, and a good one, too. Bet you thought you could blow me out of the water just because I'm getting on in years, hmm? Well, think again. I'm this town's ace angler, Zogan. And I've caught much bigger QB fish than you, Sonny. I tell you that much. You young'uns can thrash all you like, but you'll never beat my years of experience. Goodness me, this makes you the one that got away. Serves me right for looking down on you just because you're young. <sighs> Queen's blood is a lot like fishing, you know? Gotta be patient, wait for the right moment, then reel them in. Time it wrong, and you'll be watching your victory swim away. <sighs> just look what happened to me. Guess I had a bigger catch on my hands than I thought. I should have been more careful. We should have never let them build a reactor in our world. Elevators are only way up. But Rhonda won't thank us if we storm it. Doesn't matter who's at the head of the table. We're always gonna be forced to eat scrap. Those bastards may think they own the seas and the sky. Overtown! Overland! Overland! Okay, where was I? 
Word around town is Shinra's holding some kind of big event up top. Wonder what? You take care of yourself, okay? I'm looking for a quality harpoon. We're not just looking for rookies, we're looking for rich rookies. Uh-huh. Then we can make them pay up when we win. Oh, hey there, mister. Are you looking for someone to play Queen's Blood with? We'd be more than happy to go a round or two with you. I'm Devin, the younger brother. And I'm Darren, the older one. And together, we're the Double D Duo, a team of twins who love Queen's Blood. You'll face my little brother here first. If you win, then I'll take you on. Two for the price of one. Sweet deal, right? Speaking of prices, if you lose against either of us, you gotta fork over three gil. But next, you gotta beat me. Don't worry, Devin. I promise I'll avenge you. Aw, I can't believe we lost. You're better at this than I thought. Hold up. Does this mean we don't get our three gil? No, he totally still owes us. I'm pretty sure the deal was if we lost, we got three gil. Isn't that right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. You may have beaten us this time, but we'll get that three gil from you yet. So if you're ever in the mood, come back and play. Looking to throw down, are ya? Sorry, but I was just about to leave port. Oh, name's Isabel, by the way. Was looking for a challenge, but failed miserably. Since this place was a total bust, I figured I ought to try my luck elsewhere. Although, maybe you can put up a decent fight. What do you say? One round of QB before I set sail? Took the wind right out of my sails. And here I was thinking my ship was unsinkable. Happy to be proven wrong, though. Especially by a real pro. Glad we could get that match in before I moved on. 
With all that pent-up frustration, <laughs> I wouldn't have been able to think or sail straight. Thanks for clearing my head. I'm gonna stick around a bit longer. Just enough to swab the deck once more. Congratulations, Cloud. You have attained the rank of Blood Squire. As such, I have information that may be of interest. A talented player by the name of Cameron is looking for opponents within the Crow's Nest. I believe that you would find him to be a suitable challenge. Perhaps you ought to seek him out. Hello there. Room for one. Help! Somebody, please! Help! <sighs> that sword. You're some kind of Anybody, fighter, aren't you? Please. That was Priscilla. And from the sound of it, she needs a tough guy like you to lend a hand. Attention. On it! Girl, come on. I don't think she's breathing. Hey, we need help over here. God, she's so cold. Somebody, help! We need 
need to get her breathing again. Maybe someone should go find a doctor? There's no time. We need to get her breathing again. Don't just stand there, help me! You're on chest compressions. Got it. Now, start! Uh. guys there are from the Splinter Cell. Splinter Cell? They used to be with Avalanche, but left after a policy dispute. <sighs> Easy. They're guests of mine. And this one was trying to save your life. He was? Uh, nice going, Yuffie. Call the guy a creep, why don't ya? You big moron! Dum 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 dum! Uh... <laughs> <laughs> okay, Yuffie. Let's get you inside. You've had a rough day. Yeah. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Psst. Not to beat that guy, but kids these days, I swear. Now, now. Who's that? Another one of my guests. I seem to get a lot of them when the world's on fire. That girl's certainly something, isn't she? What a relief this didn't turn out worse. Ocean's real quiet today. Too quiet. Something's brewing. Can tell you that much. When an old soul. Hey, you guys are that avalanche splinter cell, right? Now, how the hell did you. I just gotta say, I'm a big, huge fan of yours. HQ wishes they could be as cool as you guys. <laughs> well, uh, we are pretty cool, but. Think we could sit down for a chat later? Got a teensy favor to ask. And gotta thank you for before. Uh, I suppose you could come by the inn tomorrow. So wait, you won't be sorry. Promise. Later. Um. I know, I know. She laid it on pretty thick. But hey, she's just a kid. What's the harm in hearing her out? Maybe she wants your autograph. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, let's get ourselves some rooms. Hey, if it isn't the heroes of the hour, I heard about what you did for that girl. Thank you so much. Your stay is on us. We insist. It's the least we can do for you, really. Now then, how many we got? Will four rooms be enough? Uh, could you make it five? Five it is. Oh, everything is comped. So if you need anything at all, just ask. Don't know about you, but I'm dying to put my feet up. It's nice to have the place booked up again for once. Gosh, when was the last time that happened? Hey, 
So about that Yuffie kid, what do you think she wants with us? Be honest. Maybe she wants to join Avalanche. Normally, I wouldn't turn anyone away, but she's just too young. Don't have the time or patience to babysit. I'll break it to her gentle. them slipping away one by one and the tighter I held on the more I lost I know I felt the same it was like they were sucking them straight out of my head and the worst part is that I don't even know what's missing only that something is like it's on the tip of my tongue, but I just can't remember. Damn whispers. Speaking of, you seen them lately? <laughs> Cloud. Who's in there with you? Oh. Hmm. Red. Thought it was someone else. Nope. All clear here, officer. Well, hope the rest of your patrol is just as uneventful. Come in. about you, but it feels like we've been on the road forever. Like Midgar's ancient history. I wonder how Mom and Marlene are holding up. Homesick? Mm -mm. No time for that, not with Sephiroth around. Mm. So, a little random, but do you remember the first time we met? You shoved a flower in my face. It's called a gift, Cloud. I saw it, you know, in a vase at Seventh Heaven, and I seriously doubt you're the one who put it there. Hey, I mean, you never know. Some advice? Never re-gift a present from a girl, especially if you're just gonna give it to another one. Noted. Water under the bridge, but next time... Where do you think those guys in black went? We should have seen them by now. This town reeks of fish and brine. Should Shinra come calling, I doubt I'll smell them till it's too late. We'll manage. <laughs> it feels like I have fish bones in my nose. Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, 
Do you remember a guy named Emilio? From Nibelheim? The general store kid? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like, she could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. Turn in early tonight. Hey. <laughs> okay. Now that the gang's all here, it's time you got to know me. My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Ninja Operative for the Interim Wutai Government. I left my beloved homeland behind to bring an end to Shinra's reign of terror and prove that Wutai's not to be trifled with! Mm. <sighs> Wutai? Yep. Which brings me to that little favor I mentioned yesterday. Long story short, I want you to join me. HQ, they just didn't understand, but you guys get it. <sighs> Don't ninjas creep around in the dark slitting people's throats. I mean, we've done some shit, but we ain't about to stoop that low. I resent that. <laughs> Although, that is something we do. Traveling alone so far from home is expensive. So I've been moving from town to town, hustling, scraping together enough scratch to keep sticking it to the man. Until, that is, I came here. And lucky I did, because I met Rhonda. She offered me the gig of a lifetime, an assassination. 
And guess who the target is? Seriously, guess! <sighs> Just spit it out already. Who else but a certain company's new president, Rufus freaking Shinra! That crazy or what? And that douchebag will be here any minute now. Up there here anyway. Enjoying his fancy inauguration parade. These people had their country stolen from them, and then their sunlight. Junon demands revenge. So when the president steps out... <laughs> oh, wow. Tell us more. Mm. Okay. You want to know how Rhonda's planning on paying me? With your bounty suckers. What? Wow, got a hand it to her. The lady works fast. Well, this was fun. See ya. Hey! <laughs> If you manage to get away, you should try to find Priscilla. She'll get you topside. <laughs> now, now! You don't want to make me come in there and fetch you, because I would love to do it! Who's that? <sighs> A pain in the ass. Let's go. from yonder balcony breaks. Come on down and say hello. Do you intend to keep me waiting? Absence certainly makes the heart grow fonder, my friend. <laughs> Still playing hard to get, eh? Well, I've got news for you, young man. As if by fate, the Speed Demon has been entrusted with a singular task. Retrieving one Aerith Gainsbourg. Uh, me? You come alone? <laughs> it only takes two to tango. Besides, you and I like to go big, and a venue this small just won't do. But no need to worry. I found the perfect stage. The city above, where we can dance up a storm. Seek me out, and we'll put our last performance to shame. With a show none shall ever forget. <laughs> you got some weird friends, man. We might want to think about getting out of here. These people don't need more trouble. Yuffie said to talk to Priscilla if we wanted to get topside, right? Let's go find her. Thanks for dealing with that Shinra nut job. Don't you think for even a second we did that for you? The slime ball who sold us out. Take it. Not much, but it's yours. The hell's this supposed to be? <laughs> Your bounty. Part of it, anyway. You thought I'd put you through the ringer like that without making it worth your while? We're on the same side. Always have been. And what if Biker Boy had taken us in? Then I would have had to improvise. But I didn't, because it all worked out. Worked out fine. Like I pray it will for Yuffie upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> 